So here's an article. I'm, I've never been here before. It's called Bleeding Fool. And it says, She-Hulk star angry over being cut out of Deadpool and Wolverine. So do you know mm. any like, like anything about this? No. Not really. Hmm. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and read this. Um, according to what I heard, though, uh, there was supposed to be some kind of post credit scene with Deadpool and and uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. So I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and read this. This uh, this article came out yesterday. So let's see, as Deadpool and Wolverine rapidly approaches the one billion milestone at the box office, internal in, uh, tensions are coming to light, particularly involving She-Hulk actress Tatiana Maslany. Despite the film's resounding success, Maslany has reportedly clashed with Ryan Reynolds and Disney executives over her scenes being omitted from both the theatrical release and a director's cut. Wait, they were supposed to release... Are they releasing a director's cut? Mm, that would be pretty cool. All right. So, uh, to be honest, without moving forward, good. Yeah. Good. What, what do you think, man? Like, are you glad that she was removed? Yeah, I think so. I get the feeling that her role in the movie was like a clash between Ryan Reynolds and the Wokies in Disney, which Ryan Reynolds ultimately prevailed. So good on him. It was definitely for the betterment of the movie. Like that would have, yeah. her presence in the movie would have hurt the performance of the show, of the movie. That's what I feel. Yeah. All right. So Mas, uh, Maslany had filmed two cameo appearances for the movie. Okay, there's two. One being a significant fight scene between Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. Of course, Hugh Jackman is going to win. Uh, mm -hmm. After spending two weeks training for the role. Two weeks is not a long time, dude. Yep. Like, I can see, oh, spending six months training for the role. I can see two weeks. Her performance was met with criticism during test screenings. Uh, it was noted that she didn't quite match the intensity and her skill of her co-stars, leading to the decision to cut her scenes. In another controversial scene, scene uh, she hope chastises both Wade Wilson and Logan during the film's third act and breaks the fourth wall, a trait that the character shares with Deadpool. That scene was also removed after Ryan Reynolds insisted on keeping the focus on Fox legacy characters rather than newer MCU additions. I think that's a smart move. Yep. But the thing is, of course she's not going to match the intensity of fucking Wolverine. Mm -hmm. Like, it's fucking Hugh Jackman, man. It's true. It's like, do, do you remember at the end of Logan? He's like, <laughs> like it, it, did, yeah, like he actually like goes in and redubs his own grunts and voices after like the, the scene has been shot so he can get the correct grunts. Like I've seen photos of him like running like in a soundstage, like holding a headphones and pretending he's like attacking people like. This bitch ain't gonna do that shit. She dainty yeah. as fuck. Man, but I'm glad they removed that shit, man. Who, who Jesus Christ. Reynolds' resistance to Disney's attempt to hijack the movie and inject political agendas into the film, along with his uh, determination to honor the Fox characters at all costs, exactly. has been credited with the movie's massive success. And I think that's the way it should have been done. And it's a good way to say, hey, I don't want to bring in any new MCU characters. I sort of want to honor the ones that no, no one's going to see anymore moving forward. And I think that's a very mm -hmm. good... Oh, like sort of honoring like the memories of the past. So, uh, mm -hmm. how, like, how how do you feel about like Ryan Reynolds' decision on doing that? Like, do you think that yeah. she should have added her in? Like, like, all right, you know, I'll add her in. Yeah, because fourth raw breaking and yada yada. No, but but I do find the part where you haven't read interesting, where he clashed with Bob Iger and Kevin Feige. So you know those two are really pushing, you know, the DEI BS even though they claim to be non-political and they focus on the quality. Like, if this is true, if this is true, like, he he went at odds with Bob Iger and Kevin Feige. Mm -hmm. Like, that tells me that Marvel is going to get worse before it gets better. Or maybe somehow it got to them that people actually want quality over political ideology. Yeah, I agree. That's how I feel. Uh a Maslany feeling sidelined by these decisions is now demanding that her sense, uh, sorry, her scenes be included in the special edition of the film. Reynolds has staunchly resisted this. Uh, she also th is threatening legal action. What the fuck? 
claiming she was not fully compensated for her work on a project. Uh, this behind the scenes drama underscores the ongoing tensions within the MCU as actors like Ryan Reynolds push back against studio driven agendas in favor of delivering what the fans truly want, while others like Miles Laney, who is coincidentally a major proponent of the progressive political agendas, find themselves caught in the crossfire and insisting on being including where uh, she isn't wanted. Okay, so I also read somewhere that the Wolverine and She-Hulk fight, do you want to hear what they wanted to do? Sure. So basically, her and Wolverine gets in a fight in a post credit scene. And she beats him in the fight. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah. 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 That wasn't going to fly. It was going to... Yeah. It's, it's probably going to cater to the 0.01% of Twitter. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah, no, that that no yeah. freaking way, man. No way. That's that's actually insane that they're trying to do this, man. Like, to be honest, like I'm glad that Reynolds have so much say in it. Like, given the fact that like what we got, like there's so much bad, there's so much curse words, there's so much like gay jokes that was used. There was there, there was even an article that came out like two weeks ago or a week ago, um, talking about how the movie wasn't gay enough. And how uh, Wolverine and Deadpool should have been having sex in the movie the entire time. And why is he so serious with um, Vanessa versus jokingly making fun of like um, doing gay shit with um, Hugh Jackman. And the thing is, I, I'm glad it's going to hit a billion. And the fact that it's going to hit a billion, it's, uh, it makes me happy. But the thing is, we do know that the billion dollars that they're going to be making is going to be divvied up to other projects that are bad yeah right it's gonna be uh, we got, yeah agatha Ag agatha all along is going to be coming mm -hmm. out in a couple of months and i believe like some of the marketing push that's um that they're getting from the the, the, the revenue that they're getting is going to be used for that same thing for the other movies and agenda which is sort of sucks but we do know that um i believe deadpool is going and wolverine according to what i heard will play a big role in secret wars so we'll see but yeah um Fuck this bitch. Uh, there's a reason. Now, now, here's the thing. If She-Hulk was really fucking good and it, it, it's already announced that it got a season two and it didn't crap on the fan base of Marvel, I would say that she might have been included. Yes. What, what do you think? Yeah, I agree. 100% agree. She would have been in there. Like, if they did her character justice, like in the comic books, like Gary's been saying, she would 100% have been in there. Like, if they kept it under wraps, if she was a really good character, if it was a really good show, they they really kept it hidden. No zero leaks and everything. That would have been like a banger for the movie. But we're not in this, not in this dimension, <laughs> not in this reality. Yeah. And the thing is that they're like, oh, he's pansexual in the in the comics and stuff like that. And like, why wasn't he like a lot of people want this movie to be like like cater to everyone? including the woke mob, right? And like, if you actually pick the movie apart, there are like some, you know, woke like, sprinkled in into it, but it's like, it doesn't do anything, right? It's sort of like that, 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 that the girl that spent, that the black girl that spent too many, like too, too many like days at Golden Corral. Like she's basically the leader of the TVA for some reason. And like, look, you, you need to lose some weight. But the thing is that like, that's like something small and it doesn't ruin the movie at all. And mm -hmm. I'm glad that she was, she was asked. If this is true, I'm glad. Like, we don't need any of this garbage. And just let Deadpool be a Deadpool thing. Deadpool and you will, you know, you'll do something maybe some later on in the future. But the fact that She-Hulk has been so bad, I'm not sure if they're even going to bring back her character in anything in the future. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.